Hello and welcome to this new series of uh, uh, videos in which we will talk about how can you crack CAT 2023. Many of you are have done their CAT and you are looking uh, to finalize which institutes you should get into and the next batch of students who want to crack CAT are getting ready, right? And the crack, uh, the CAT 2023 is around the corner. So in this series of videos, we will talk to you about how can you crack your CAT for 2023. And in this particular lecture, we will give you a quick overview of the, how to go about that. So let's look at the CAT 23 exam dates. Uh, the CAT this year is uh, expected to be in November 2023 as uh, per the previous uh, uh, CATs that have taken place. And uh, the notification is about to come in July and the registration will start in August. The last date of registration is going to be September and uh, the exam date in October will be when the admit card release will happen. So that's the rough timeline. So you have roughly about five months to prepare and be ready to take your exams, right? And that's not too much of a time. So let's take a look at this in more detail. So let's look at the CAT eligibility. Who are the students who are eligible for that? You need a bachelor's degree or a professional degree, CA, CS, ICWA, etc., etc. And you need a 50% marks in, and an equivalent CGPA. In case of uh, SCST, persons with disability, you will be allowed to uh, eligibility is at 45%. So you are allowed to apply with 45% marks or more. Now there are a lot of reservations that IAMs do and that is as per the government mandate and that's a brilliant opportunity for all those of you who belong to any of these categories. There are 15% of seats are reserved for uh, SC students, 7.5% for ST, 27% for other backward class students. Right, belonging to non creamy layer NC or BC, 10% up to 10% for economically weaker sections, and 5% for persons with benchmark disability. So, there are a lot of reservations possible, and that's a lot of good opportunity for many of our sections of our society. Uh, the common admission test, uh, uh, you will be able to get more information as the time progresses on the website www.iamcat.ac.in Conducting body is one of the institutes and I am told this year is going to be IAM Cal, Cal Registration mode, exam mode is online and last year there were 66 questions that were asked in three sections of verbal ability, reading comprehension, DILR and quantitative aptitudes. Now these are the three sections and we will talk about a little more. <clears throat> there are uh, totally two hours. You have 120 minutes uh, for the general category of students. With the uh, with the disability disability students, you have a little more time available. And there are two types of questions. One is multiple choice questions, and second is type in um, your answers, which are non MCQ, which are they don't give you choices. So TIT stands for type in uh, your answers. There basically. Uh, the medium of exam is English, so you need to be uh, good in English to take forward in this. Now, <clears throat> now let's look at how much of time is given for each of the sections. So there are three sections, right? So let's look at each of these sections. There are 66 questions in last year's CAD, but I'm told again, this is not certain. The questions could be between 66 and up to 100. So let's start assuming that there are 66 questions. So the duration of test is 120 minutes. Now it is 160 minutes for uh, students with disability, right? And the time allotted for each section is 40 minutes for general students and 53 minutes for PWD uh, candidates. And uh, there are like uh, spread of the questions. The 66 are roughly spread across each with the last year being little more on verbal ability and reading comprehension, uh, less on data interpretation and logical reasoning, and uh, roughly one third on the quantitative ability. 
Now, you will be allotted exactly 40 minutes for answering the questions in each section. And you will not be allowed to switch from one section to another. And it goes sequentially, right? Now, uh, you start with section one, you complete that in 40 minutes, and after 40 minutes, you can move to section two, right? Now, the tutorials to understand the format of test tests will be available on the CAT web website in October. If there are any major changes that are there, be ready for those surprises, but normally there are no major changes. Now, till that time, you need to work on the tutorials available on the CAP, CAT websites well in advance. And we will talk about to you how can you prepare yourself and perform well in the CAT for 2023. Uh, the type of question, there are two types as we saw, MCQ and uh, non-MCQ questions. Now, the, it's a mix of MCQ and non-MCQ questions. Now, the MCQ questions you are very familiar. It's you have uh, multiple choice of uh, answers given for a questions, and you need to pick one of the answers, and you can pick only one. For non-MCQ questions, you can enter a whole number and as an answer, the space provided on the screen showing on the using this on-screen keyboard. If the current answer for non-MCQ is 50, then enter 50, not 50.0 or 050. So these are the type of questions that you need to be mindful of. Now let's look at how to crack your uh, CAT 2023. There are lots of colleges, lots of people that will tell you how to do CAT 2023. But there are inherent issues with that. There are coaching institutes, coaching colleges, and uh, the challenge with all of them are that everyone does the same thing. Now, if everyone does the same thing, the question is, how can you get high percentile? Because it's a percentile based system based on relative scoring, right? So imagine for that matter, everyone scores, gets all 80 questions right out of 80 or 66 out of 66. Will you get a 90 percentile or 95 percentile? It's a good question to think about. So what you need to do is to have a personalized strategy for your CAD 23, something that suits you, something that you will do so that you can crack your CAD 2023. And how do you do that? So we have a seven step process for you there. You need to set up a goal. Now, how do you set and what goal? We will talk to you in, in the lectures coming forward. Then you need to understand what can or will cause success in CAT examination. And that's where you can learn a lot from the various people who have done successfully in last years, right? From the highest percentile to institutes to online resources, you can understand those success factors. And we will also talk about that as we go forward. Then what you need to do is your SWOT analysis, not only strength and weaknesses, your SWOT. And what that is, again, we'll talk to you. Once you have your SWOT and you have understood the success factor and you have a goal, then you need to formulate the CAT strategy, your CAT strategy. Then develop your action plan, implement the action plan, and finally go and perform and crack the CAT 2023. So that's a seven-step process that we will take you through in the coming lectures, right? So what do we do in the next uh, episode? In the next episode, we will talk to you about what is how to set the right goal for you to crack your cat in 2023, right? Ready for that? Wonderful. So thank you so much uh, for watching this video. I hope uh, you are learning something, you are enjoying, and I do look forward to see you again in the next set of lectures. For more updates, you have a list of places where you can follow on Instagram, on LinkedIn, Facebook, on Udemy to look at our courses. You can go onto our website and also you can email me at enrichmentors at enrichmentors.in if you have any questions.